Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you the method I use to create scroll saw patterns for these shells. I learned how to make these shells watching Steve Garrison's video, Scroll or Bandsaw Shells. There is a link to his video in the description below. I created a spreadsheet to design the, and control the thickness of the shell. It <coughs> also creates a SVG code that I can then uh, take into Inkscape to augment the design and print patterns for the wedges. In this spreadsheet, I manually manipulate the values uh, in the given column and uh, modify them and monitor uh, the values that are calculated along with the plot of the spiral of the shell uh, until I get a design that uh, I like. Uh, in this example, I have uh, selected uh, three-quarter inch. Oh, um, the green cells here represent the uh, dimensions of the board that I start with that uh, I cut uh, the wedges from. So in this example, uh, I've selected a three-quarter inch, and um, I've set the wedge angle at 14 degrees. And from that, I've calculated that it's going to take a board, board width uh, of the block will be 3 inches by 6 inches in length. Um, as you can see, you can modify these and the values, and along with the spiral, everything changes all at once. Um, after a, um, the next thing I, I set up is the starting radius of the first arc um, at the innermost part of the shell here. Uh, as you can see in this example, I've set it equal to 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, and then I set the scroll saw table angle. That's the, the, uh, the angle that the scroll saw is going to be at when I cut the arcs out of the wedges. And here I've set it to 80 degrees. And if I change it, you can see how modifying this can change what how the spiral looks. Go back to 80. From here it's calculated that uh, the new radius, so the next radius in uh, uh, the second arc in, it's radius is of this value, and the difference between those I've taken as being what I call a growth per wedge. So as I, uh, as the arcs grow wedge to wedge to wedge, um, they will be growing only by this amount. I hold that amount uh, fixed so that I can control the thickness of the shell of the wall, or the wall of the shell. Um, then I set what um, my target thickness for that wall shell is. Here in this example, I've set it to a quarter inch. And using this value and the growth per wedge, it's calc the spreadsheet's calculated it's going to take four wedges to, um, uh, to create this shell. Each wedge is going to uh, have 10 segments in it. And, uh, that will give us a total of 40 segments, and uh, that shows that it'll uh, uh, the spiral itself will do about one and a half turns. Once I'm happy with the numbers and the, the plot, I can then create uh, the SVG code by running a JavaScript that I've got uh, behind this button. It uh, will. Um, show the, res the SVG results in this message window. I then copy and paste the results into an editor like Notepad++ here, and then save them into a file on my computer. I can then open that SVG file in Inkscape, and here's an ex here's an example of that um, of what comes out of the spreadsheet. Then I'll modify. Um, the design, and as you can see here, I've grouped the um, the patterns together in pairs here. Uh, that's because I can print two on a page, the, the size of these. Some of the smaller shells, I can print all four patterns, and I group those 
um, tight together. I also like to uh, do a region capture of the screen um, that shows what all the values were given and calculated for this, the design of the shell. I've also found in um, uh, Inkscape here a way to um, modify the arcs and rather than have them smooth, create a pattern on it that replicates uh, through each one of the arcs and will create these uh, kind of soft waves in the in the shell. Uh, in doing this, what I created was a sine wave here that you can see, and then using in the extensions the uh, pattern along path extension, I can then have Inkscape take that pattern and uh, stretch it along the path of the arcs. You know, as you can see in each one of these patterns, I've, I've done that. I can then, uh, when I go to print uh, one of these sets, I would copy it over and then either select uh, by hiding the arcs, just the wave pattern, or I could print um, by hiding the waves and do a smooth pattern. And that's the methods and tools that I've used to create uh, shells like this. I hope you find this video informative and useful, and please uh, give me comments below um, if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you very much.